A linear optimization problem, or LP, is drawn here along with its feasible region. We want to minimize our objective function, CX, subject to the constraints AIX less than or equal to BI for I equals 1 to M. In this simple example, X is a two-dimensional vector. One way to solve our LP is by using the simplex method. The simplex method uses values of the vector X along the constraints, going from one vertex, also called corner point, to another vertex until an optimal value for the objective function is found at a vertex. The simplex method, while good on average, has a worst case exponential time complexity. Another way to approach the problem is done by rewriting the LP as an unconstrained nonlinear optimization problem, or NLP. This is done by bringing the constraints into the objective function, a process called dualizing the constraints. In this case, we use a barrier function by taking the negative log of the constraint slacks. The result is that as x approaches one of the boundaries of our feasible region, the barrier function approaches infinity. Since we're minimizing the objective function, the barrier function keeps us from going outside of our feasible region. We use the value of mu to control how much weight is given to the barrier. A large value of mu means we stay as far away as possible from the boundaries. Solving this NLP with a large value of mu gives us the analytic center of the feasible region, shown here as a star. The following graphs have the value of mu shown in a red bar, as well as the value of our original objective function shown in a blue bar for each iteration. If we decrease mu slowly and take the time to find the exact optimal point for each value of mu, we trace out the central path. Traveling along the central path is a time-consuming and computational intense process. Instead, we approximate it by using Newton's method for solving NLPs. To get polynomial order time complexity, we decrease mu slowly and use one Newton step at each decrease of mu. This results in the small zigzaggy convergence to our optimal point shown here. In practice, we can often decrease mu more rapidly and converge faster, as shown here. Looking at the sequences again, we'll see how the Newton steps approximate the central path through the interior of the feasible region. Such methods are called interior point methods. Lastly, this sequence of graphs shows the fast Newton approximations in black, the guaranteed polynomial Newton's approximations in red, and the central path in blue. This has been a simplistic view of interior point methods. Actual methods in use today involve both the primal and dual.